Welcome to TA Tech. So Windows on the Steam Deck has improved dramatically after the release of the new handheld companion update. So in this video, I'll be talking about these new features that came to Windows that made the experience so much better than before. Without further ado, say, let's get started. Okay, welcome back again. So now let's talk about the new features that we got in the handheld companion update on the Steam Deck. So first, let's start our handheld companion. Normally, it's minimized in the tray, hiding down there. So let's find it and start it and go through these features. So before we go through these features, we need to update our handheld companion. So the update can be found in the settings menu. As you can see here, there are so many changes coming to the handheld companion. So let's click download and wait for it to install. So I'm going to skip this part and go right to the features. So now our handheld companion is updated. There are so many features to go through, but the main ones are coming to the side menu. This menu gets so many features, so trust me, you want to hang out to the end. So before this, let's go to the other features that we have with this new update. So let's scroll down the controller section and we'll find HD Rumble. This feature will give you the best haptics the Steam Deck can give by the cost of the CPU. So be careful when using this one. Just make sure the game is not a high demanding game on the CPU. Let's turn it off and go to the next feature. So the next feature we have new hardware button shortcuts that have been added to the handheld companion. If we scroll down, we'll find five new shortcuts that are very useful that have been added to the handheld companion. So let me show you these in action. The first one we have here is the fan control. So as you can see here, you can set a set value for the fan and use your shortcut to turn the fan off or on to that value whenever you want. So you can use this feature anytime within the system or inside the game. So the next one we have here is turning the brightness up or down. So as you can see here, I set it to pressing the option button with the D-pad up or down to change the brightness. And it works really flawlessly and it's really useful in game. And the other one we have here is the volume up and down, so I set it to the option and the D-pad left and right, as you can see here, it works perfectly and this will be really, really useful for you inside the game. So now let's go to the side menu, which will make our life so much better when using Windows on the Steam Deck. As you can see, the menu is still the same. If you click on the battery icon, you will have the fan overdrive. So this will allow you to control the fan precisely from inside the game, which in my opinion makes the handheld companion so much better than Steam Deck tools. However, I'm still not sure if this will affect you or get you banned when you use an anti-cheat. And then we'll have CPU boost mode. This basically boosts the CPU clocks and gets the best out of your CPU when you're gaming. So this is not the biggest change to the handheld companion menu, but this is. They have added so many settings that are so useful for us inside the game that we don't need to quit the game to adjust them. So the first one we have here is the motion controls. This will simply map your aiming into the motion controls of the Steam Deck. And oh boy, the next one is really really important and I've been waiting for it. The FPS limiter from the Steam OS is now on Windows. Now you can control the FPS while you're inside the game and this will save you so much battery and make gaming on the Steam Deck Windows easier. And the next one we have here is TDP control where you can control the TDP from inside the game and you could also set the shortcut to control this from the buttons. And the next one is the automatic TDP. This controls the TDP based on the frame rates that you give it, so it will target the best TDP for the frame rate the Steam Deck is running on. And the next one we have here is really clever, is energy performance preference. So this either prefers the GPU or the CPU, so you can choose if the game prefers the CPU or the GPU to make your game run at the best level. So the next one we have here is manual clock control, so you can control the clocks of the GPU right from the menu while inside the game. This is quite amazing. And it's also worth mentioning that they added the new overlay that you can control from the side menu. As you can see here, at the top we have so many stats showing of the Steam Deck and the game running at the FPS and the power levels of the GPU and the CPU. As you can see here, you can control it from the side menu. You can either disable it and show more or less details whenever you want. A huge thank you for the developers for doing this and made our life so much easier for Steam Deck Windows. So this was the new update for the handheld companion for Steam Deck and other handhelds running on Windows. I hope this video is useful for you, so please consider subscribing if you like it. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.